Hello, my lovely Libra, and welcome to your weekend and weekly energy reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't had a chance to check out the other readings on my channel, please do so. I'd greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for love readings I'll be putting up. And like, subscribe, share, all the other great stuff. I'd greatly appreciate that as well. Otherwise, let's get right into it and see what kind of vibes we're getting for the weekend going into next week as well. All right. And let's see what we've got here for you. Big card here. So we've got judgment. Okay. So I do feel like for the weekend, you are kind of either, I feel like you're seeking something, um, some kind of judgment as far as kind of something you're making a decision. Okay. I feel like maybe you've had a rough week. You're coming into it looking for something you want to kind of make a decision on. Maybe it's something that's weighing on your mind. Maybe it's preying on you. So it could be something that, uh, you know, towards the end of the week, you were kind of given an ultimatum or uh, an option, a choice, something with work, family, friends, what have you. And it could have been something like, you know, this is a, an option for the weekend, or it could have been something much bigger, you know, like here's a, a job opportunity. Take the weekend to think about it kind of thing. Um, here's, a, you know, you were given this opportunity for, you know, a loan that you wanted or an investment that you wanted or were thinking about. Um, it could be something where somebody you were interested in has kind of all of a sudden made themselves known to you um, that they may also have interest, those kinds of things. And now you're kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> because, you know, you're kind of like, oh goodness, maybe it's not the perfect time or maybe it's not the exact right situation or maybe other things have come up since you kind of um, were first wanting these things but for whatever reason you're kind of like okay I need to really put my thought thought cap thinking cap on rather this weekend and kind of really decide what I need to do you know because it's not something that's easily um, decided but I do feel like for many of you you are in a decisive phase you are having a dilemma or something that you need to think about um, and again, for some of you, I do think it's probably something as simple as, hey, do you want to get involved with X, Y, or Z this weekend? And for some of you, you're like, I don't know if I have the time. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I care enough to bother with it. You know, I have so much else on my plate, yada, yada. And if that's the case, you know, it's just a simple thing for you. For others, I think this may be something um, a little more, more, you know, kind of important as far as the outcome of your life, you know, it's something major, a job, a relationship, something kind of important. Um, you know, maybe you were given an ultimatum, you know, we are approaching the holidays and a lot of times people will be like, okay, by the end of the fiscal year, we need to know, do you want this new position? Because otherwise we need to know what we're going to fill, what we're not going to fill, you know, uh, Christmas is coming for some people or Hanukkah for some people. And they're like, okay, you know, are, am I getting a ring? <laughs> those kinds of things, you know, and you're throwing those out or you're getting those thrown at you. Um, so that could be things that are happening for some of you, those kinds of things. And it's taking some thoughts, right? Um, but I do see here that your next card is the three of cups. So I feel like you are going to surround yourself with people that you trust, people that you can enjoy yourself with this weekend, going into next week, people that you can confide in to kind of celebrate, um, you know, your thought process, what you need. And this is the best thing you can do. Surround yourself with people that you enjoy being with, that you can kind of let your guard down a little bit, relax around so that you're not like making a um, knee jerk kind of decision so that you're not making a, uh, a decision out of emotion, a decision out of fear, anything like that. You know, you're really kind of getting into your own personal safe space as it were with your friends, your family, whomever. Um, and then you can kind of discuss it, think about it rationally, what would you want to do, right? And I think that's something that you're really going to do. So if this opportunity presents itself and you are in a, a phase of what kind of judgment do I need? What, you know, what do I want to do with this? And you have friends or family that you really trust, people that you would normally confide in or that you consider confidants. And they're giving you the opportunity this coming week to get with them, to get together for whatever reason. I definitely would take that opportunity, okay? I think this is telling you that that is what you need. You don't need to be isolated to make this decision because sometimes you tend to overthink. Sometimes you tend to get into your head too much. And that can be very counterproductive, right? You know, when you're yourself, when you're calm, when you're with the people that you trust, you can kind of get all sides of it. You can kind of feel relaxed and make better decisions. So I think that's something that's going to be good for you, right? Um, and down here we have the Nine of Cups. And I do feel like that this is something that is going to kind of 
be an outcome here. So when you are surrounded by those people, when you are kind of in your element, let's say, able to make a comfortable, confident decision that makes you feel good, right? It's not something that you felt pressured to do or, you know, a decision that you felt under the gun to make, you know, like, oh gosh, I have to do it immediately, you know, this or that. Um, you know, you're going to have more of a a family unit, a family backing. You're going to have, you're going to feel more like a, um, you know, a team, you know, more like a a combined community, a team. Um, so whether it's that you've decided to take that position, uh, join in with a group to start your own business, whether it is you've decided to bring someone into your family as a relationship, um, whatever it may be, I do think it's going to end with you having more of a grand family togetherness type of unit, um, a lot more feeling like you're going to be able to kind of you know, be just one step away from solidifying that, you know, 10 of cups, happy family situation. I think that you are on that right path. Okay. So I do feel like that's what you are working for. I think that's going to be what happens to you. I do think that's going to be fantastic. I do think though, that it is imperative for you to get to this step too, because I think anytime you start making judgments, um, you know, out of fear, out of emotion, out of, you know, um, just, you know, gut, knee jerk type situations, it's not good. When you make it in a comfort zone with the people that you trust, um, you're going to make better decisions, okay? And I'm not saying you want to take everybody's outside opinion and I'm not saying that you wanna to listen to everybody else talk and go with what other people say, but you know who are your trusted people. You know who are people that you can kind of take a little bit of what they say um, and you know that they know this or they know that about you and you know what to filter and you know what not to filter at the same time. So I do think that just kind of being in a happy, enjoyable, relaxed, you know, togetherness, commutative, celebrative state is going to put you in a mindset that's going to be positive for you to help you make a decision that I think is going to pan out very well for you in this, whatever this decision is about. Now let's grab you a uh, challenge card because there's always a challenge, right? It seems like everything has to come with some little bit of a challenge. Um, let's see what we've got going on here. All right, so we have the lover's card. And I do think that this could be a host of things, to be honest with you. I do feel like, again, with this, okay, if it's a job position and you've already got a sound relationship, okay, if you are of that perspective that you've already got a sound relationship, this is something dealing with something other than a relationship, somebody coming in. If this is a job decision, a financial decision, that kind of thing, I think that you may have a significant other that may not be on board, okay? It may require you to move. It may require you to make sacrifices. It may take up more of your time for whatever reason. Your significant other may not be on board, okay? You're going to have to just, I really feel like you're going to have to just discuss this with them. If you're standing firm and you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing. Sorry, my cat's dragging his toy there. <laughs> wow. Um, I think that you're going to be able to convince them if they really care about you that what you are doing is best for both of you. Okay. So, but that may be an issue there. Now, if this is somebody coming in and the situation here is a decision about another person, do you want to enter into something more, you know, um, a little bit more, I guess, serious with that person or, you know, bring somebody into your family, that kind of thing. If it's, you know, or get into a relationship when maybe you weren't ready for one or hadn't been in one in a while, those kinds of things. I apologize. He is really, come on, sweetie pie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right there, buddy. Um, I think that what you've got going on here is that you may have ex-lovers, okay, that are not going to let that happen smoothly, okay? So you may have recently been out of a relationship or maybe not even recently, but somebody who's still in the picture, you had kids together, this or that. He is not giving up, um, what have you. Um, so I do feel like for that, you know, the situation may be that you just have people who are not willing to give up, right? And that could cause you a host of trouble. So you have to just decide on your own is this something that you are willing to, you know, push through? Or, you know, is this willing, something you're willing to fight for? Is it worth that? And with it being on your celebration card, you may even have people in your group that you really consider to be very good friends 
they may also have interest in you. Okay, keep that in mind. So some of their opinions may be, even though you don't see them in that light, you maybe you don't even know they see you in that light, but they may very well. So some of their opinions about you being in a relationship with somebody else may very well be not the best received opinions. They may be kind of like, eh, don't do that, don't do that. And it's simply because they want this situation, okay? So let's go ahead and pull a psychic card here on the judgment. This is the psychic deck and see if it gives us any further information on that. Alrighty, so moving on. So whatever it is that you're deciding to do, I do think you are going to make movement, okay? So I do think you are going to decide to make some sort of movement. Now, I don't think you're going to say, absolutely, I'm doing nothing about this. I'm not going to move on in a relationship. I'm not gonna move on in a job. I'm not gonna move on in whatever this is. I think you're gonna move on in some way. Now, by saying no to some people, it may force you to move on if they say, hey, you either take this position or, you know, you're gonna to have to take something else, go somewhere else. You know, you may have to move on in a negative way, but regardless, I do think that it is going to require you to move on, okay? So just keep that in mind. So I think regardless, it is gonna require you to move on. Um, if you tell this person no, you know, this may be an ultimatum situation. It's not gonna be something that they're not going to accept and say, okay, well, that's fine. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. I think, you know, it, you know that this is something that is going to require you to either make the action to move forward or it's going to be making the action to move on in a different direction. And I think you kind of know that. I think that's why I feel like for most of you, this is, um, you know, this judgment is heavy on you right now. I think it's something that is, you know, it's going to take some deep thought because it's not something that is is going to be, you know, uh, it's, I can be law safe fair about it. It's not going to really matter that much. It is. It's going to matter. So let's pull you a moon card on the lovers and the uh, three of cups. And let's see what we've got going on there. Hopefully we can get some more information on that if possible. Alrighty here. Resilience. Okay. So I think with this, with the resilience card, what this is letting me know is that I do feel like that you know this again for those of you who are in a settled situation there's going to have to be resilience for the relationship here between the two of you if they are not for what you decide um there will be probably a little bit of you know push and pull give and take but i do feel like there have to be some resilience of you know the bounce back you know everybody is going to kind of you know if, if if somebody's against it and you still do that obviously they're going to be a little bit you know I didn't want to move I didn't want you to take that job now I don't have less time we have less time together those kinds of things those things happen but I do feel like there'll be resilience I feel like you will be able to certainly smooth that over you'll be able to show that your decision was good in time just give it some time um, for those of you who this is about a relationship, I think you're just going to have to be resilient in your resolve, okay? If you do decide to move forward with it, again, I think you are gonna be tested by past people, okay? And I think you're just gonna to have to know that going in and know that you're going to have to show resilience against that and their attempts to make things bad. Maybe, you know, they can talk, they can try to come back, they can try to do different things. You know what people do when they're trying to, you know, break things up. But again, I think that is something you're just gonna to have to kind of just be resilient against. I don't have think you'll have any problem with that. I think you kind of know what you're getting into anyway. Um, I think that's why the judgment weighs heavy. Um, so I don't think that's gonna be a big issue. And if you decide not to go through with anything here and you do have to move on, well, that's gonna take resiliency too, but I think you already know that as well. You're a resilient person. I don't think that that's gonna be an issue, but I do think it's misknowing kind of what type of resiliency you are best at handling, right? Are you better at handling resiliency of loss of something or at smoothing things over, right? Because that's ultimately what you're gonna have to deal with, right? Um, or dealing with, you know, people who are pain in the butts, right? <laughs> so whatever you're kind of the best at being resilient against may be part of how you make your choice or your decision of how you move forward. So let's get a final card here on this nine of cups and close out. Alrighty. So let's see here. This is just a general advice card on the nine of cups. And I do think that this is going to be a positive outcome, 
but you just need to make sure that it's the positive outcome that you are able to deal with, that you want, and that you are gonna be able to tolerate, you know, essentially any of the fallout. So you are the joy seeker. What little victories can you celebrate? And again, I think that's the thing is you're going to have to realize that each victory is gonna come with a little bit of this, you know, a little bit of required resilience. <laughs> so um, take each victory as you can. Um, know going in that there's going to be a little bit of, you know, push and pull on certain aspects, whatever you decide. Um, align yourself with what you are best at handling for the moving on, moving forward, those kinds of things. And find the joy in it, because I do see you are going to find immense joy in it. Um, it just may take a little bit of, you know, finding the joy a little bit at a time before you find the full volume of the joy, right? So, but I definitely think it's coming. I think you will definitely do well. You will um, certainly make good decisions. So uh, hopefully this will all work out for you. And if you uh, do enjoy this or it did resonate with you, please do like, subscribe, share, and let me know. Thanks, bye.